So today, me and Alpha Anthony are coming to you live with reactions to Just Pearly Things, one of our, both of our, one of our favorite podcasts. We listen to them, their perspectives, their outlooks on life, the dating scenes, and uh, relationships between men and women. What I really like about this chick from Pearly is she keeps it real with these women, these scandalous snakes. Snakes. <laughs> Hoes, 304s. Hey, 304s, the legend of the 304, man. That should be crazy. They were having them on there. I was telling, I was telling my friends, I said, do you know what a 304 is? And they're like, no. I'm like, well, if you type in 304 into a calculator, turn it upside down, probably figure it out. That's what it is. Um, do you have her on mute? Yeah, she's on mute right now. I was going to let us talk real quick, and then whenever you want to hop into it. Yeah, which, whichever one you want to get on, um, I mean, yeah, we can just listen to this one. I like the one where they're talking to uh, Brittany Reiner, and she's, like, saying all this stuff about, like, having a kid, and whatever, and she's super cat. You want me to change it, you said? No, let's just do this one. Let's just do this one. All right, so this one, do modern women deserve respect? Yeah, I'm turning you up because I can't hear her. Can't hear me? No, I can't hear her. Can you hear her now? Um, no. So I'll figure it out. Oh, there we go. I really can't hear, but it's okay. We can just pretend to hear. So, right. I think those people are not interesting. They're going to be introducing themselves. Dude, people, uh, people don't realize what's going to happen when they're on camera. Yeah, I switch my camera. They don't realize what's going to happen when they're on camera. They look stupid and they get upset. Oh, you seen the one with the Tina 304 where she was like getting all mad about like how these women want tall dudes. Make a lot of stuff. It's crazy because they'll be all wearing makeup and stuff and then they'll be like, You're so pretty. And it's like, she's actually just wearing a lot of makeup. And, you, and now you guys are. Like, I wonder which one I'm going to think is the most. 304. <laughs> I think it might be her because she's been there so many times. I've she's there. Yeah, honestly, if you get enough people in one room and they're all kind of like, I mean, in, 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 uh, not to be crazy, but like if you're wearing makeup, if you're wearing makeup, I just feel like at a certain level, you're not showing your true self and that's okay. But you don't be trying to like show out as you, you know, don't show who you really are. And show your true self. You don't even look like you're portrayed, and now you're saying things based on these fake looks, and that's just too much for me. So I, it's hard for me to take people like that too seriously. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. I still can't hear him, but it's okay. <laughs> I don't know. That's that's the whole thing about with um this uh getting new software and stuff. You play with the, the options a little bit, start to figure out what what's what. <clears throat> it's got to be a way though, right? There's a lot of stuff I don't know how to do still, but I'm learning. I'm it's all good. We we learning, bro. Um, it's on here though, so you should be able to hear it because it's like right here. You know what I mean? You know, I'm trying to figure out the settings for the sound. So, virtual background, so audio, echo cancellation, noise suppression, show advanced options, stereo audio. Okay, high resolution audio. Do you hear an echo? 
Um, yeah. I guess I'd have to get an upgrade to get the, uh, the yeah, one for the monthly. Like Anywho, yeah, I need to figure this out. Mm. Yeah, so, figure it out. I can hear it now. I can hear it now. Good job. I had, to, I had to switch you. I had your audio on the same thing that they were on. So now it's Swiss. So now you're coming from my computer, and then that's coming from my TV right here. I have a big, I have a big ass TV right here. Yes. You gotta have a good setup. Hi, I'm Robin. Um, I'm 26, and I'm a laundry. You said you want a what? No, that's what you have to have is like an extra TV screen, especially if you don't have like. <laughs> All right, now I'm good. So I can hear you, and I can hear it, and hopefully you can hear it. Right or no? You have to hear it a little bit. What about so now? It was like at the right uh, level before, but I know it was like kind of getting like so much. Like it's, pretty, it's like repeating. So. What are you, so let's go here. Go around. I know we had some initial. That's better. <laughs> let's start here and then go around. And say why. All right, we got to get it for real, though. Um, okay. I think women nowadays tend to be like very feminist focused. You know what I mean? They don't be thinking about the men. So, how do you feel about her nose piercings? Bro, I hate them shit, bro. I don't like that shit. Um, I, I think, think it's a lot. I think I think I think it's a lot. I don't like I don't like any of it actually. It's, a, it's pretty extra, and it makes me think that she thinks that no, she's a kind of. Like I want to pull them out. I want to just like, absolutely. She pissed me off. Yank that I said it once, and I'll say it again. People wear noses. I like the ones right here. That's not bad. The little stud. The little, the little stud is like small. The septum piercing. Dangerous. I feel like they like to uh, do some sexy ass things in the bedroom, probably. <laughs> just because they got the pieces, yeah. Their body count goes up in my mind. <laughs> if they got if they got tattoos all over their ass. And all over their yeah, and then in the titty area, and then the coochie area. What? It's like, what? It's like damn. Y'all let, let that tattoo artist, that male tattoo artist, get down into you. It's like the top artist. Not to be controversial, top G says. Hasn't had too many experiences. So he can experience. See, like hers, hers is all right. Her nose is just big. People trying to put holes in their faces is crazy, bro. Right? Tattoos on the face, too. Hell no. But that girl, that girl in the back, the red hair, that's not her real hair. Oh yeah, that real hair, the fake hair should be kept. Straight away. Yeah. If, if you're focused on that person more, you obviously get more respect put into you. But I feel like with women, it's kind of like, why would I give him respect when he's on this side and you're there? But they're doing this and you're there, respecting their respect straight away, straight off the bat. But women don't do that most times. Mm. I feel like generally, um, I feel like women, that's their favorite people. Can't get enough of these British people. Mm -hmm. yep. More than men tend to respect women off the bat. You think most women respect men? No. Most women do not respect men. They only respect men that demand their respect. I feel like more women respect mm -hmm. men than men would respect women off the bat. Mm -hmm. uh, what makes you say that? I'd say that. It's more like I feel like women need men more than men. And um, let's talk about the accents. Do you so like uh, foreign accents like UK accents? Immediately, rather than the no, because I'm not. <laughs> <an idiot. laughs> I know, like, no. I know people like to a certain point. So if that's if that's true, why are we crazy in society? Like, oh, that's that's new, that's different. But to me, I met a lot of foreign people who are Yeah, I feel that I have. Yeah, I mean, well. 
it makes it make them, but I mean, usually it's uh, in the general you public, learn, the media, it's, it's you really can't learn to adapt to kind and of like, even on the train, like you'll see, um, you know. Things. Some yeah, people. it's just it's annoying to me. That's that's the one big thing that gets on my nerves. It's like um, I'd say I, I just can't sit there and listen I mean, to them, especially when they speak like quickly. Some people make it flash, but it's like for me if they speak another language. Kind of, you know, but I always try to learn different languages. So to the point where it's like women are not even committed to this guy; they just want this guy for money. And this man wants this girl just because of her body or her face. Mm -hmm. Like people are not actually loving each other for who they are as a person anymore. Do you think that's ever happened? As a person? Yeah, I feel like. I feel like is, we would I love like women as a person if they were good people. So like I, a lot of women are not good like, people. <laughs> Especially if stuff's not going their way or they get upset, mm -hmm. then that's what shows you when they're not good people. Do you think Pearl's gonna get any of these women um upset? Maybe should get them to change their filthy ways. <laughs> I don't know about that. that's kind of. She's been doing this for a while. I, I doubt any of the women have changed their filthy ways, especially that one with the red hair or the the blue hair. Are they are they sisters? Mm, they look they look like twins, but just different hair colors. Are you still gonna say that they're both they're both fat? Nah. <laughs> they're both filthy. Filthy. <laughs> they both have ridiculous hairstyles and ridiculous tattoos. One has a tattoo right here. Like and I'm I'm talking shit, but I got a tattoo right here too. <laughs> yeah, but it's not it's not it's like so when you that's the show not the yeah, like their show for their jobs and stuff. My shit's yeah, covered. Up, um, do do women deserve? That's what I heard. Yeah. Both on their neck. Look, both tattoos are the same tattoo on their neck. Yeah, maybe they are related. Or maybe they're dating. So, yeah. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> um, I don't think they should get it just for. They need to uh, get on that workout plan together, though. They need to go ahead and get in that gym. Yeah, man, personal training. She looked she looked like she's like twenty something, but she or she probably like twenty something, but she looked like she's like forty. No, nobody will never know. So you said you wa you watched Pearl before, right? What? You said you watched Pearl before, right? Pearl Pearly yeah. Things. Watch the tape, and I watched a bunch of other ones where she's like talking crazy feminists and being like, "Yo." How come she don't bring no no real alpha alpha dudes in there? She don't bring nobody. She doesn't bring no pussy. Boys. There, so you know, it's crazy. Right after she brought him on there, it literally shut him down. Like, that's when they like took him to jail for all that shit. Damn. Look at his little chain. That shit's small. It's probably real though. Real cheap. Oh no, chains. Is... It's real cheap. Chains are like you're trying to make a. But what? But what is he trying to do? It's too small to to try to do. <laughs> I don't feel like your statement will ever properly be made if you try to do like, uh, like I mean, you know what I'm saying? You just don't make yeah. No, I know what you're saying. It's like they're trying to be flashy. I feel like change, you're trying to be flashy, you're trying to show off, you really don't got it. I mean, really, so even if you do want to be flashy, there's like a message in there that you want to be driving my hustle, you know, like, man. For human uh, nature, yes, but I think yeah. women yeah. want to yeah. give to men. I can respect my good wrong word. Mm -hmm. My baby, right. uh, videos. You want to be valued just because you're a woman. 
Mm-hmm. Well, I know what the question this is. dude looks like he has a hard time breathing. There's so many modern women today mm-hmm. that just opens up a queen for existing. Yeah. And you get participation yeah. trophies yeah. just based off of you having uh, uh, okay, we put my leg up like that, guys. Hey, <laughs> which, is, which is completely trash. Well, makeup is played out. We have a society that yeah, makeup to one gender so much. Um, spending, spending hundreds of dollars. Except your, your participation trophy. Be queen, you are, if you are a queen, and you I don't even like I don't even like women wear makeup. Actually, okay. I like during, during the night, just like natural street time activity. Yeah. You think you deserve less respect for me and to be considering you within a relationship? What would you define as a queen? But yeah, let's uh, do a quick ten. Queen. I'll just play. Yeah. Right. Queen is earned. What you said? Go to the history within that. Pause pause it. We'll pause it in between like her statements and like just pearly things. I could probably actually send you a couple of um uh, a couple of clips. Yeah. Let's do that. To my email? No, I'm gonna send it to Facebook so that you be able to. Cool. Yeah, because that, I don't know. I wasn't really feeling what they were talking about. I think they were going too slow in this one. I like the, like, what you gotta do is get the clips and just react to those. Yeah, it'll be better. Get the exciting <laughs> stuff. And not go through all the, maybe long. We'll see. The pearly things be long as fuck. Exactly. Did you see? Did you send it yet? Yeah. yeah, I'm sending it on Facebook. All right, I'm on uh, waiting. Mm. Bro, why? Why is it so hard to do stuff? Back? What the hell is wrong with people? Why do they make everything like this? I'm about to throw this over here because I don't want it. That's so annoying. Is it because of the MacBook? Yeah, like it's just so hard to copy and paste stuff. Like, oh my God, bro. I'm not trying to have it on my feed. I'm not trying to have it on my story. You should get a um. Right, right. I got it like a a wireless shit, so I could just and then it's it's uh even when I use my Mac, it turns into HP type. You know what I mean? You have like some separately loaded uh, operating systems on your. You just plug you plug it in the um. It's like a little chip. You plug it into the side of the USB, and then you could use the wireless, wireless stuff. And then it turns it it turns it into like a regular HP type. So it's easier to copy and paste, but you can still use your MacBook. Yeah, I don't know why it doesn't let me do this. It's really irritating. Well, yeah. um, let me type just pearly things clips. Yeah, yeah. Like just curly things, Brittany Reiner. Brittany Reiner. Whoa. Lots of clips, right? This should just be lagging, and at least you have someone good in the net. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just the. Uh, it's just because I have the. I'm sharing it with the TV. That's fire. So can you turn the hoe into a housewife? Mm, yeah, cricket. Okay, I don't know if we can, but let's try. <laughs> oh, it's an hour though. It's not a clip. I need to put clips. Hold on. And then just like be ready to pause it when we want to talk, and we'll talk. And... All right. Uh, this shits are long. Okay. That's fresh and fit. Academics. Man. Funny. Fuck. 
I do it this way. You two don't want it. How long is this one? You know, it'll tell me. Oh. The one that says shorts. If it says shorts, click it. Shorts. So this one. Yeah, yeah that's the one. So it doesn't matter. Um, she's she's a public health. Um, so she's just done a lot of like. Okay. That's, she's like no, obviously with a lot of people in the industry so much. So she wrote a book. Yeah, and like she didn't use any other names, but people kind of put together who they were. And then she also like posted videos about like how to catch a baby off of an NBA player. So Brittany Runner, um, she's a, she... catch a baby. Catch a baby, catch a body, catch a baby, catch whatever you can and run, women. Catch an STI. That's what she's. That's what she's training people to do. And this is why I'm worried about like raising a kid or a daughter in this society because they give people like this free reign and the benefit of the doubt. And I'm like, well, listen to her side of the story. And then she just tries to like. I don't like to talk about other people, especially women, because I'm not a woman. I don't have babies, but like. Try, like getting a baby off of a, an athlete and then trying to be like boohoo woe is me i didn't know it's just like the megan markle thing right you catch a freaking well see i'm gonna say cat but like you catch you get the attention of like royalty right of like a royal person and royal family and then be all surprised when they want to know stuff like about you it's like you couldn't have gotten someone better and you're gonna act like oh well i wish i didn't i wish i could have found someone else so that my life wouldn't be like this and you know i'm talking about how Meghan markle had like her their whole publicity run of just off the fact that like he's the prince his mom was you know attacked by paparazzi she's part black and she didn't know that the royal family was racist like she didn't go to history class and realize that like, Yes, bro. She should know. She should have known. <laughs> yeah, and then she's just like, Ugh. it's like, bro. My my big thing about women trying to catch catch money from like catch babies from NBA players, football players, rappers, whoever, anybody that they think has money. I feel like the whole plan doesn't turn out good for the mom or the child. Like the child is going to be put in a situation that it didn't ask to be in, put in a situation where they're separated, put in a situation where the mom is just trying to get child support or trying yeah, to get to use the child to get things. Yeah, and they're being used and they gotta choose which parent they like more and they never really get a good understanding of either of their parents. And then they might be in the ear of the child saying that the other parent is horrible and this and that and making them have hate towards that parent. Daddy has, daddy has a new family. <laughs> It's crazy. His mom moves a three hundred four. She they didn't say that part though. Yeah, and then like so, especially with her her situation on this podcast, she was telling them when Brittany Reiner came to her podcast, she was telling her, you know how much I have to spend on lawyers going to court and this and that, and oh, if my kid wants to watch Peppa Pig, it costs money. It's like, bro, like, you don't, you're just making shit up. You're just making shit up. So yeah, go to the next clip. I'm sure there's some more shorts on there we could do. There we go. Oh, what the one where she's talking? What the one where she's talking? Brittany Renner talks about her dating life. Yeah, Let's hear yeah. about her dating life. That's where I'm like, would you date a guy that's a normal line? Okay. Would you date a guy that's 40,000 per year? Oh, I can oh, just go down. Okay, cool. That's cool. Normal line? Okay. Would you date a guy that makes 40,000 per year? And he's not hot. He's just like, eh, all right. Average guy. 40,000. Average guy is a little, a little weird. He's like skinny, you know, little weird belly. No. no. She likes him. I take care of myself. I'm in the gym four or five times a week. Um, at whatever yeah. the salary is, to me, I feel like I just still want to be attracted to the person that I'm with. And just four or five thousand dollars usually in the gym. The gym membership is twenty dollars a month. So if I'm, again, I had a kid a year and a half ago. That would be damn good. So it's like I would want somebody who takes care of their body. Mm-hmm. So the, the beer belly is not where really you lost. Would you date a guy that's a normal line? So what do you feel about that? So when you talk to someone and they're so concerned about like post pregnancy body that they're in the gym for that long but still have the like the the wherewithal to be talking about child support and earning living for their child as if, you know, they didn't get 
crazy about some of the rich. It's just like, yeah, you're you're looking for a lifestyle. Like you're looking for a permanent lifestyle where you can afford to do certain stuff and not worry about um, taking care of your kids specifically. So a lot of stuff you say after that is kind of null and void. Like, don't blame it on the child. Don't blame it on your lifestyle. You're like, yo, I want to choose to do this. Yeah, a lot of people have a kid, and they don't have the time or the, uh, yeah, they don't have the time or energy to, like, lose all the weight from having this kid. But they don't blame other people, look down on other people, say because he doesn't make money to take care of them. Like, once you, once you start equating, like, wealth to, like, lifestyle and what you're going to accept from a person that, like, you're not you're not loving or you're not emotionally attached to relationships or even the, you maybe you're thinking of the idea of a relationship where a guy takes care of you but you're not like you don't care about human human other human beings and their emotions you're just worried about what they have and and how it can benefit you like you get what I'm saying like you don't care if you love this person if they don't make money you're not gonna look their way like you're not looking at everybody as a potential because you have love you're looking at only people who have money because you love money. She does love money. <laughs> that's crazy. Like, and that's the thing too, like even making 40,000 a year, bro, like that's not even, that's not poverty, but it may as well be to be someone like that because like they can't get any of these luxurious things that they're used to or claim to be used to, or they think like is their lifestyle. Literally be like, yeah, I'm a happy kid. No, I, need I, I agree. Cause then if, yeah. If you're making 40, then what is she making? Because it depends how she's making it. Because I don't think, personally, I don't think she has a career that's going to make more than 40 herself unless it's going to OnlyFans or hopping on an NBA player's dick. <laughs> and like, so she's trying to get something that she can't do for herself, have someone do it for her, or use someone to get it done. And like, I think she went to that path. She went, use whoever, what the PJ, whatever his name is, got that baby has the money coming in and now she's using that as her income yeah especially okay so not only that but what she'll probably end up doing is monetizing the attention from the situation to make like a product that she wrote a book yeah exactly so now she's monetizing that attention getting money from it and now people want to be like her and she's got it she's creating a branding off of that stuff and it's like yeah bro like that's how you made money off of someone else's name and you'll swear you built it from the bottom up, but hey, I can't say you didn't, right? Like I'm not. Nah. <laughs> she was on the bottom. <laughs> exactly. When she was building, she how, was you get, how you get a son right there? Uh. <laughs> Oscar, I felt like he was he was really polite in person. I didn't expect him to be like you said, so smiley, uh, very warm. And I will say that I do feel like he is very. This is her thoughts on Andrew Tate. He is fair. Top G, top G, give it up to the top G. Top G. Being agreeable to the point where it's not your own identity. Free, free agitation. He's been out. He's out. I still never think I don't agree, but yeah, I felt like he was like so different in person, and I feel like that's why you can't really judge people based on that. He was just different. I don't know. Am I, am I tripping? Did you guys feel that way? So on this, she's talking about Andrew Tate and how people judge him without knowing him just like people judge everyone else and then usually it's usually the feminist side if you have a strong male they're gonna hate it regardless just because they're masculine if what i've seen um or they're gonna love it one of the uh, other one of the two and then when she met him in person she says she loves it so she wants yeah. that masculine presence in her life just trying to cop a plea because I watched a lot of this episode where she was on there with him and he was hitting her with the riz, bro. He was making her feel like some type of way because he's a, he's a top G, bro. Like, what are you going to do? Top G pulls up, you pull up. That's all I got to say. <laughs> yeah, that's true because she, she not top, he top. She wants to hop on the top. She, I bet you if he would have tried to pursue her, she would have hopped on it. Yeah, I mean. She would have had another baby. What she's interested in, based on what she's interested in, yeah, you know that mm -hmm. one. You ready for the next one? Yes, sir. Let's go. You know what else we could also do too? <laughs> we can do the conspiracy videos, bro. We can do the conspiracy videos. Have you ever seen that? I'm down. I'm down. I'm down for everything, bro. We got a lot we can talk about. There's plenty of stuff we could talk about and get into. I'm sure. You know, because you you um. So I know some people when their kids are young, like just don't want to date. 
How do you really feel about that? I think it has more to do with where I'm at emotionally. And it's not even like a jaded thing, right? It's more of, I know my value. I can talk shit. I can have one conversation with a guy now. Type in, um, type in, um. So most of the guys I have presented themselves in front of me. Wait, you cut off. What did you say? Type in J-O-G. I'm going to keep my, I'm going to keep an open mind. And I'm going to keep an open heart. Dre OG? Yeah. Uh, yeah, bro. He be killing it, bro. That's why I listen to, bro. This is the real shit. Yeah, the one that, yeah that right there. That right there. You, you fired. Which one? The time machine one? No. Or, uh, up a bit. Go up. Yeah, I clicked that one from three days ago. Three days ago. The dates really give us disclosure. Oh man, yeah. Well, let's hop into this video. Make sure y'all go ahead and smash that like button, man. It's a lot of all the time, bro. It's a channel where we talk about everything, no matter how it sounds. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's crazy. We just have a dope time with dope people. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Share this with your friends and family. And look, without further ado, let's just hop straight into this video. So I've never seen this guy. I remember. I know it's tough out here, but just never, never, going never to watched him by yourself. On this channel, stay if I like it. Let's get it. Yeah, I want to talk to you for a second. The Pentagon's UFO chief. This is a Pentagon guy, the UFO chief, the chairman of Harvard's astronomy department as well, was releasing a report on Tuesday where they wrote an artificial interstellar object could potentially be a parent craft that releases many small probes during its close passage to Earth. You've got the Pentagon talking about the idea of a mothership going above us and sending probes there. Have you heard anything about the ship? No, I haven't actually. And I haven't heard about the UFO either. Yeah, so all they talked about was like the Chinese spy balloon. But like we were saying the other day, because we were both in the army, so we have an idea of like what they really could and could not have access to. But like mm -hmm. nobody talks about it, and uh, it gets it gets like you know you get put on the tinfoil hat. Everybody thinks you're crazy, but it's like, bro, like what? Like there are aliens, and nobody cares. Like so, most of the time now, it's like, okay, there's a UFO, or they just say that there's some kind of spy balloon. But the thing is, most people really just do not care about the fact that like this stuff is going on in their lifetime. They don't realize it. They don't care, and they just like whatever but it's actually pretty present i think i think um i think the chinese are going to keep doing things to make us think there's ufos and stuff because they're i feel like we're gonna go to war soon okay well you know what i think i think joe biden just keeps on telling everybody like hey we have we spent this money on war with russia like he just keeps popping out of nowhere like taking that wake up kill we sent some money to russia or to ukraine like you just keep, oh, Biden like, wastes a lot of money. Then I, I thought like he's wasting our shit. Yeah, obviously, and it's like they're just throwing it in our face by saying like, "Hey, like, just how much money we spent in Ukraine this week helping fight the Russians." It's like, why are you guys trying to like sell us against the Russians so hard? Next, next step is going to be war, and we're going to start sending people. And then the next step after that, we're going to start draft a draft, probably. I'm, I'm assuming. And which, if we get a draft, I'm not going back. I don't think. I'm not going back. Oh, nah. American soldier. <laughs> I was one, but nowadays I don't think the government is in our best interest in things as people. I know. What if, there's, probably, an alien, what if there's an alien invasion? We're going to let the aliens just mess up our earth, bro. Bro, it's going to be like Independence Day, bro. I'm going to be like Will Smith. I'm going to be like, you, Will Smith, you old. It's my turn. So you be in? You'll be in, you'll be down to fight the aliens. I think I'll be down to start my own militia and fight the aliens. I don't think I'll be down to join the US government and fight the aliens. Because I don't think the US government is going to care about the people in general. And they'll probably have like the president hiding and all the important people hiding while everyone else is dying. Yeah, I think I would definitely be on the alien side, team alien. Oh, hell yeah. I'm just going to be like, yo, they tricked me. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> like, hey, I used to be an alien, but I got kidnapped. <laughs> they converted me. I'll be like, give me the technology. But yeah, keep playing it. He's, he's got a lot of good takes on it. Like, This one of these moments, like, yeah, yeah, they, they said that shit, y'all. But yeah, they said it, y'all. Basically, we're out of money. And so, they said we're out of money. In order to sustain Ukraine as it, as it continues to fight, I'm sending Congress a supplemental budget request to spend two weapons and ammunition flowing without interruption to the brave Ukrainian fighters and continue delivering economic and humanitarian assistance to the Ukrainian people. Wild. That, I feel like I feel like we have something that's being wasted from us, and while we have banks and stuff failing in the United States right now, people in poverty right now, but we want to go fund a war. While he's sending that money to fund a war that like really almost has nothing to do with us, I mean, from a lot of perspective, that we're never going to get that back either. Like they're not going to Ukraine's not going to give us money back after the fact, and they're not, probably not even going to win the war. So. It's well, like, what they're doing with all that money sending is they're devaluing the dollars. So the Ukraine just keeps getting all these free rent, free money, and free weapons, right? It makes the dollar worth less. Like every time they just put, like, every time they dilute the money system by putting a bunch of money into something that wasn't supposed to have, you know what I'm saying? Allotted funds. It just makes that shit. Like, I mean, we're not experts, we're not economists, but we know, like, hey, if, if they weren't in this war, we wouldn't be sending them billions of dollars. And these billions of dollars wouldn't even really be going to our country. So when you put all that extra money in the in the currency system, you're, def, you're, def, you're yeah, you're inflating the money. Like the money's becoming worthless because it keeps, I mean, not just because of him, but it's just a whole like, cascading effect. That's what I think. Honestly, I might get canceled, but I feel like I don't see why Biden after he falls asleep every time, every up two minutes when he's in a, can't even do a, like a speech. I don't see why he's not impeached. Like, it seems like he's a traitor to the United States. With all the money he's sending overseas, it does, it does seem like. Yeah, that. he's not, he's not focused on any, any U.S. relations. He's focused on. No problem. International relations. Well, he would probably try to say that's what he's supposed to be doing because he's the president, but. You really should be getting all these homeless people off the streets in like places like Cali. Like that shit is crazy. Yes, that's crazy. And then the the amount of money that it costs to live in places like Cali is just going up. Everywhere actually is going up. People from Cali are moving to like Texas and looking for houses and paying half a mil for a house in Texas in the middle of nowhere because they know it's coming. They know that it's going to keep on moving to the side. Yeah, I'm about to start investing in San Antonio for anybody watching that wants to invest. Yeah, it's man. The houses are pretty, pretty decently priced over there. I've been watching compared to Tampa. Monopoly is house. You ready for me to play him? Yeah, yeah, let's play. I'm convinced all Joe Biden wants to do is say the man, wake up, and see him with you. I don't know if they got a little bit, but he's he said another thirty. He wants to send another thirty-seven billion dollars wow. to Ukraine for aid and help. What's going on? I get you want to help, but we need right. help too. Go, please help us. What, what we got to do? Do we got to change all the hoods in America to to, to to the name Ukraine? Compton is now Ukraine. Ferguson <laughs> now Ukraine. Flint, Michigan. We got a bunch of black. I didn't think I would be agreeing this much. So what do you think about that one? He's right. We're sending way too much money to Ukraine. But I gotta hop off right quick. I'm gonna hop off. I'll probably hit you back later. But I'm gonna save this, and I'll probably send it to you. It's like 40 minutes long, so that's a lot of editing. But yeah, yeah, I, I can edit it if you just send it to me. I'll do that last shit. I'll sure. All, All right, right, bro. A little bit, man. Peace. Peace.